You need to know how to use your scientific calculator in scientific notation. So the first thing we need to know how to do is to get it to display in scientific notation. Now calculators differ, so you need to see whether what I'm going to show you now applies to your particular calculator, and if not, you'll need to read your instruction manual or find a friend who knows how to use your particular calculator. Many sharp calculators work like this. To use scientific notation, you press Setup. Some options come up on the screen, and you can see the first option is FSE. So you press a 1 to select that first option, FSE. Another list of options comes up, and you can see that the first option is SCI, which means scientific notation. So you press a 1 to select scientific notation. It then asks you how many significant figures you want to show. That depends on how much you want to round it off to, and if you're actually getting empirical data, it depends on how accurate your instrument is that you're measuring with. But for now, let's press 9 so that we're going to get 9 significant figures, which is the most that this calculator can display. We are now in scientific notation. So if now I want to write a number and I want it to display in scientific notation, all I need to do is to write the number. Let's say I write 5327 and then I press equals and you can see that it gives the answer in scientific notation, 5,327 times 10. 10 to the power 3. We'll speak more about that later. What about if you have a Casio? For many Casios, to display in scientific notation, you need to press Setup. Now to press Setup, you press Shift and Mode. You can see Setup written there in yellow next to Mode. Shift is written in yellow as well. That's because when you press the Shift key, then whatever is written in yellow for that button is taken as your input. Shift Mode gets you into Setup. Then you will see a list of options. And the seventh option is SCI, Scientific Notation. So you choose seven. How do you then get out of Scientific Notation? if you just want to go to a normal display. For the Casio, you again need to go to Setup, in other words, Shift and Mode, and you can see that amongst the options, the eighth option is Norm, meaning normal. So you choose eight, and then it asks you normal one or normal two, simply say one, and then you get back into normal notation. If you have a sharp calculator, then probably the way to get back to normal notation is to again press Setup, and then press 1 again to choose FSE. And you can see the third option within that is 3, Norm 1. So choose Normal 1. But for now, we need to get back into scientific notation. So whatever calculator you're using, put its display into scientific notation. If you've forgotten how to do that, then rewind this movie to see how to do it. Now, when we write scientific notation on the calculator, we don't actually type times 10 to the power, we use the button EXP, which stands already for times 10 to the power. So if our calculation had something like 5 times 10 to the power 6, we would write 5 EXP 6. Put in equals and you have your answer. That's 5 mega, meaning 5 million. With a Casio, I don't see an EXP button, so you just plain use the times 10 to the power X. 